Hello and welcome back to the best of the journey uh, here in San Marino. Uh, well, obviously, uh, I'm just trying to get the season going, uh, but we are in the quarterfinals, second leg. Um, so that's what we've come back for, that and the match against Folgore, or Folgore, I'm not certain. Uh, so when we last here, we drew 1-1 with uh, Libertas. Uh, since then, we beat Domagano 6-3, was the silliest game in the world, like seriously. Um, we then beat Trey Penne, who, who, you know, if we hadn't have made ourselves so professional and brought in all these good players, were the favourites to win, this is San Miranese B, Lee got a hat-trick and we beat them 3-0 easily. We then beat Morata 2-1, two, two early goals from Lee, he's kind of been the man so far this season. Uh, we then played a weaker team against uh, Colungo. And drew 0 nil. Shaev got sent off, which wasn't great. Uh, we did then play them in the league with a full strength team, and we won 3 1, picking up two injuries in the process. Kalungo hate us, but we're playing them again in the second leg. Um, but that one, one transfer has happened uh, since you were last here, and that's uh, Gergo Fulop, or Fulop, I'm not sure, uh, a 21 year old Hungarian with one under 21 cap, my ad. Three and a half star current, four and a half star potential, and I originally wasn't going to bring in a goalkeeper because we had Dong, but um, D Dong got injured quite quite long term uh, in training. He's out for two months, which is basically half a season in San Marino, uh, and then we brought this guy in who is actually better than him. So yeah, uh, Grabowski is out for nine more days, but Alvarez is almost back. He's almost back. Six days, people. Six days. You won't see in this episode. It'll probably be next episode. But six days. But yeah, we're going to be playing a slightly weaker team again. Because as you can see, we've got a lot of people on yellow cards. That's because it's really silly. So every yellow card you get. So that after two yellow cards, you get suspension. And then every yellow card you get after that, you're on a suspension. So basically, like we can end up with a game where everybody's suspended possibly because of how silly that rule is but oh well um so we're gonna play this team uh we've got flopping goal because i'm not playing my samuranese goalkeeper uh borgelli uh left back and seeing at uh right back uh garipi and popper a center back shivev because he didn't play in the last match due to the fact he was suspended as the defensive mid with Ndar and fantini in the middle Burma is the advanced playmaker, and Lee and Romano up front. Other uh, than that, it's good to go. But we've got to take the league uh, more seriously than, you know, this. It'd be nice to win this, but I don't even think you get, like, Europa League first qualifying round from this. It's just sort of there. It'd be nice to win it. They want me to win it. But, I mean, with the team we've put out, it's... We might nick it 1-0, is what I'm going to say. That's that's really about it. Um, but as I'm recording this, uh, I've just been playing some Pez 2018. And that's really, really fun. Uh, yeah, he's an actual choice. Which one's of winning? Yeah, that, sure. Uh, so they're playing a 4-4-1-1. We're playing our standard 4-1-2-1-2. Or 4-4-2 Diamond Narrow, as that puts it. Yeah, go go win. That just just win. That's really all I care about. Um, but yeah, Pez 2018, really good. Um, there obviously yesterday I uploaded some gameplay to the channel. That was the first match that I played. Uh, I'd advise you to go and watch that if you're thinking if you're on the fence about it uh, to get an idea of what the gameplay is like. Uh, there will be a review out probably next Thursday for it. Um, oh, sing. Oh, hit the post. Um, so there'll be a review for that next Thursday. And then um, I might do some other things. So uh, you might see if, you know, it's, I think it looks, it looks good. I might, it'll just be a sort of a test run. I'll be doing the Europa League with Arsenal uh, in Pez. Uh, and that'll be a test run to see, you know, 
if there's a lot of interest in seeing Pez gameplay on the channel Pez things because I want to do I'm planning on doing a VVV Venlo Master League which will last the entire year you know that'll be it that'll be that'll be the one Master League save we do and it'll cover uh, the Air Divisi because it's like one of the few leagues where everybody is licensed all the kits are licensed all the players are licensed it's really one of the few leagues where that does that and Shire is booked again that's not good um but yeah so Europa League with Arsenal look forward to that probably about an hour after this goes up um so if you're watching this like you know two days later it's already up go watch it um yeah and I will be doing FIFA content as well FIFA 18 content um and I will release like a channel update probably near the end of the month because the Master League's not coming till October. The FM18 beta will be in October. FIFA 18 will be is, will be uh, the, I'll be starting new stuff on the channel in October. So I'll release a channel update which will go through some of the changes that are going to happen on the channel. Uh, I'm trying to design a new logo because I mean the logo is not great. And Romano, we just cannot get the ball past them. They're defending so deep. Brimard, somebody do something. It, oh my god. Um, so yeah. Uh, if you have any logo designs, you'd like to design me a logo, you know, message me on Twitter, message me on YouTube, you know, whatever. If you think you can design me a logo, that's great, and I'll donate score. Oh my god, I don't believe that. This is ridiculous. We've completely dominated them. Oh, these guys are in for a rocking at half time. I do not believe that we are 1 0 down. It is absolutely ridiculous. Oh god, Shai is going to get red carded again. Right, we're taking him off. I mean, let's do Anda, let's do Brimmer, and then let's do Lucy Lou. Let's be aggressive. Where's your passion, Lies? Do you even want to win? Now go and win. We're going to go attacking. So yeah, there's a lot to look forward to on the channel in the future. Um, FM content's not going anywhere. I will still continue to do this. Um, we're going to try to get through this as quickly as possible because obviously FM18 beta will be probably about the 20th of October will be when that comes out. And I still haven't decided what to do. I, I might, I'm, think, I'm on the fence. I might do a Real Madrid one, but I kind of want a job where I'm not going to get sacked because I didn't win a game. You know, like Zendine Zan's lost eight games in two years. You know, I can't compete with that. You know, maybe, you know, a big a team like Everton or something. Where you have a lot of money, but the expectations aren't quite as high as, you know, some other teams. Maybe I'll choose a team I support, Watford. You know, oh, they're not going to hit on the counter, are they? This is getting ridiculous. Do something. Stop them. I can't believe this. I mean, we've not lost since, in fact, I don't think we've lost at all. Can't lose now. I mean, they're sitting bottom of the San Miranese B. Oh, Romano has got the ball. Score. You've not scored yet. And he does now. There you go. Come on. <laughs> we can't lose this. Please, for the love of God, we cannot lose this. Um, Yeah, I mean, I don't really know what else to talk about. This game's been quite dull. We've dominated, but not really done anything. We've obviously now got the goal, which is nice. Tell your friends about the channel and the things that are coming. Get them to subscribe as well. You know. You know, the bigger this channel grows, the better the content can become. Because there's a bit oh no. How many injuries are we picking up? Oh my god. We have constant injuries. It is ridiculous. What is the injury anyway? Shin injury. You can't really play with that, can you? Take off board jelly, bring on more Bedelli. Uh, see, look, we, we get constant yellow cards, and I, like all these players are now going to be suspended for the next game. And Popper picks up a yellow card as well. Oh my god. Stop getting yellow carded, people. We will not have a team for the next league game. Morbidelli, Nda, Brimmer, Lucy Lou, Brimmer, Tunda, to nobody. They're going to counter us, aren't they? Oh my god, we can't lose this. I don't want extra time. It's the last thing I want. For to Moroni, the San Miranese guy who's really rubbish. 
Ah, oh, and you can see why. You know, that should be a goal. That was leave. That was Grabowski. That's a goal every time. But that guy's probably got like 19 as his rating. You know, probably has like five finishing or something like that. Lucy Lou. And that's why we love Lucy Lou. Golden Globe winner, I think. I looked up what she's won in real life, and I've completely forgotten. I think she's won a Nickelodeon Choice Award for her role as Storm in X-Men. So that's nice. <laughs> oh, that was Halle Berry. I'm getting confused now. What am I even talking about? I'm so confused. But Lee scored. Forget what I was talking about. That's not weird. They're getting Halle Berry and Lucy Liu confused, because they don't even look alike at all. I mean, Lucy Liu is, is Asian, and Halle Berry is mixed race. I mean, uh, I'm, I don't know how I got them confused. Why did I think Lucy Liu was storming X-Men? <laughs> uh, but there you go, that's a new headcanon for you. Imagine watching X-Men where Storm was played by Lucy Liu. Huh? Huh? Would that be Asian washing? Huh? Because obviously Storm is black in the comics and stuff. I don't know. I'm just rambling now, waiting for things to do, because it's about 11.30 at night, because I spent way too long um, playing Pez. I basically got back from work, put Pez in, and haven't stopped playing, apart from the bit where I edited it and uploaded it. That's the only time I stopped. He's out for two to three weeks. Brilliant. All right, well, I will see you in a second. We're back and we're having a crisis due to the fact that um, we have, what, three injuries, two suspensions, and we basically only have two fit strikers, and they're both rather terrible in D'Alessio and Moroni. Alvarez failed a fitness test, but he's the only other striker who can actually play today. So there's a chance... A small chance you could see Marcus Alvarez today. Small chance. Depends on the scoreline, I guess. Um, but other than that, it's a pretty decent team. Full up in goal. Morbidelli and Marchi as the fullbacks. Garippi and Yablonski in the middle. Shaev, Cherberini and Semprini as the centre mids. Lucy Lewis, the advanced playmaker. And Moroni and D'Alessio up front. Let's just try and win. We are the favourites, it said so beforehand, um, but without our strikers, who've been scoring most of our goals, um, it's going to be hard. They are only four points behind us, but we are the only team that's undefeated in the San Miranese B. So, you know, if we can play well, you know, we can, we can do it, I think. I mean, these strikers, the strikers we've got up front should be fine for San Marino football. They're the average San Marino footballer. But I mean, we play quite a complicated game for what I suppose a San Marino player would be expected to play. And they haven't play got San Marino caps. So they're not even as good as the national team players for San Marino, who are considered some of the worst players on the international scene. So, yeah. I do want to upgrade the youth facilities, but they keep telling me no so we're not going to really be able to improve the San Marino team but D'Alessio has just scored Thomas D'Alessio has just scored I, I'll i take it I will take that every day of the week thank you very much Folgore now we just have to not concede which is easier said than done obviously but we played a lot of games there is a week break after this and then I think it's an international break which is nice. It's nice that a small league has an international break because obviously half the league would disappear on international duty for San Marino, which wouldn't be great. Don't make a mistake here. Just keep the ball. Forward up to Moroni, the defensive forward. Oh, good try. But bicchiarelli has got that, I think. You know, trying to place it. But we're dominating possession completely, which is what we expect. We play on control. Um, yeah, that's about it. 
Oh, shy. I... Oh, it's deflected in. I don't care. 2-0. There you go. It's his first goal. Alejan Shaev. 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 Once again, if you're Russian, please let me know how to say that. Because, you know, I want to know. Because I'm just going to butcher it. Always. But I've, I've got big plans for FM18. Considering we were talking about the other games I'm going to be doing on this channel. For FM18, I've got big plans for that. I'm going to have... The first one I'm going to do, obviously, is the beta save. It'll be one season at, like... A team. I haven't decided which one yet. Which we discussed in the last episode. Last episode. Last part, I should say. Um, but I will be doing a big save with a non-league team. Um, I'm not going to tell you, obviously, which non-league team yet. Um, I'm going to save that for closer to the day. I'm going to make like an announcement video. I'm trying to just to plan out how to do it. Um, but once that's decided, obviously, things will be easy. Oh, we're going to have so many suspensions in the next game. Um, and then... After that, I mean, that'll probably be like a probably like a six-month thing, or depends on obviously. Oh, and Dialesso scored again. I think Dialesso is getting on the bench, and Maroni's being dropped off of it. Um, but yeah, that's going to be a big save. Obviously, I tried to do a journeyman this save. I wasn't very good at it. I couldn't really get a decent job or hold down a job, you know. And so a lot of the jobs I went to that I was good at, I actually wasn't enjoying that much, except for Smorgon. I did like Smorgon. Smorgon was an option for the beta. But then I remembered, oh yeah, you can only sign Belarusian players, which wouldn't be very... For the beta, you just want to have fun. You want to get a feel for the game and the new things that they brought into it. So I might just choose... I might basically pull a name out of hat. Is he going to get a hat-trick? Oh, man, if D'Alessio got a hat-trick, that would be brilliant. That would be absolutely brilliant. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot, lot to look forward to for FMA, uh, FMA team content as well. So if you're here for Football Manager... Don't worry, it's not going anywhere. Not yet anyway, obviously. If Pez and FIFA, book, I'm getting like a thousand views per video. And on FM, I'm getting like a hundred. It might get dropped, obviously, depending on certain uh, factors. But obviously, it might not. Uh, where's Ndar? I forgot to put Ndar on the bench. I'm a genius. Shaev might get sent off, and he's tired as well. Uh, Alright, Brim is going to we'll do Cherubini because he's more of a ball-winning midfielder. There we go. And we're going to bring on Marcus Alvarez. Because I'm feeling crazy. He's only going to get like six minutes. It'll be fine. It just gives him a bit of a run out, I guess. I just hope he doesn't get tackled. <laughs> he'll probably break in half and he'll be out for another two months. And I'll regret this decision. But considering Grabowski's back soon, it said one to three days, and yet he was still red, which is never a good sign. As long as this highlight is not someone getting sent off, I'll be very happy. I don't care if they score at this point. But we will be five points clear at the top if we were, if the score says it is, which it probably will. Oh, it's them getting a red card. I'm fine with them getting a red card. Go right ahead. It's been quite a good episode, hasn't it? This doesn't normally happen. Normally I struggle when I'm, like, on video. He didn't really have time to make an impact. Are we going to see him touch the ball? Play it to Alvarez. Give it to Alvarez. Nope, no one gave it to Alvarez. Oh, well. That was a good win. That was a good win. I'm shocked. I thought if we were going to win it, it'd be like a 1-0 win. We nick it or whatever. But no, that was that was a good win. And there you go. Top of the league. Five points clear. Seven games in. Dealers who did. I'm going to praise your performance. You were superb. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Um, so what we're going to do... I want to get to the end of this season because I really want to get into Europe and start building our reputation. So what I'm going to do... We're going to jump forward. We're actually going to have a double bill of Trey Fiore and Trey Fiore. That Libertas match, we'll just ignore that. We might come back earlier if we somehow start losing. Like if we go on like a losing run, which I doubt. Um, but yeah, at the moment, I mean, the cup 
is probably the more important thing because I feel like we're going to win the league anyway. It's just Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. So, yeah, and I looked it up. You do get into the Europa League if you win the San Marino Cup. So, you know, let's let's do that. Let's win the cup. Let's win all the cups. Let's be let's be the dominant team. Let's be the Real Madrid of San Marino. Let's be the Juventus of San Marino. That's the aim. And considering San Giovanni in real life have never actually won a trophy ever, that'll be good. So please like this video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.